Hey, here with Richwood assistant Derek Silman and uh, Derek, me and the Richwood got yourself. Um, talk to some of your players about uh, the fact that they have to go to school in these pod systems. And a lot of people might not know this. The flood wiped out your school. And it's been since 16. All these guys are going to pods. How tough does that make them for a practice? It is difficult. I mean, you have to travel about 20 minutes one way to get to practice. The weight room's 20 minutes away. Um, the travel time, it, it's discouraging for kids to want to play the sport because you have to practice longer because you're eating up 20 minutes one way to get to practice. Um, ideally, you know, I teach at the high school as well, so I also just see how the difference is in the school culture with not having a school and how that really drastically impacts the kids. So a lot of guys that maybe could play don't because – and there's going to be travel at schools like Richwood and all the uh, schools that are more out in the country. There's going to be travel anyway, but this is, makes it even worse. Yeah, it's, it's really hard to uh, convince kids to come out and play because, well, they, they kind of view it as why eat up this much time of my entire day when what they really don't understand is that you're in high school once. You get this one opportunity to play these sports – I promise you, once you graduate, you miss it. That's what I always tell them. And you play football, you told me, at Richwood. Yes, sir. So you can kind of, and being from the community, you can speak to that. Um, also, with Coach McKinney coming in, how has that impacted the baseball program? I know you guys, um, I've heard there's been more improvement in this team from day one to now than any program. He said he's been around. He's been around a lot. Yes. Um, our record wouldn't show it, but I'm telling you, um, him being an outside guy, that helps us out so much more because he doesn't come with this view of uh, it's just going to be, you know, Richwood is Richwood, whatever. He sees um, these kids for what they are, and that's athletic, talented, kind. Uh, he doesn't give them the excuses that a lot of other people have given them, which is there's no school. He knows we have to work around that. We have to work around this Richwood culture. We have to build a new culture. So him being an outside guy has just been amazing. What, uh, what have you seen in this team? from that day, day one, that you've been able to kind of pass along to them to keep their heads up, you know, while they're kind of learning the sport. Um, the biggest thing I always remind them is, you know, we play a tough schedule. We've played Pikeview, we've played Woodrow, um, we played Braxton, we've played a lot of double-A AA and triple-A teams. Um, those have made us better. That has made us better, even though it's a harder competition. But rolling into sectionals next week, you know, seeing a pitcher at Woodrow compared to seeing a pitcher at Greenbrier West or Pocahontas, it's two different levels, so they're going to be able to hit those balls better. Our kids haven't played middle school ball. There is no middle school program right now. There's no um, senior league. There's no middle school baseball team. So being able to um, fix this stuff that should have been fixed when they were in seventh or eighth grade, trying to fix that now as sophomores, that's been one of the key factors of our team this year. Getting into the sport like you have now as, as an assistant coach, do you would you like to see that come back to Richwood where you have a senior program, where you have maybe uh, a middle school or some way for them? I know some of the guys are playing to play travel. They've already been accepted on travel ball teams for this summer. Would you like to see it where they can stay basically at home? Yes, because I mean, Again, just going back, we're talking about a 20-minute travel to from our high school to our practice facility and our field and everything. Um, the kids that are going to play on travel teams, they have to be able to travel 40, 45 minutes, if not more. A lot of our kids can't do that. A lot of our kids, both their parents work over the summer, full-time jobs. It's hard to get rides, especially when you're talking about the middle school level where middle schoolers right. can't drive. <laughs> I mean, they got to be able to uh, they got to be able to find a program and they got to be able to play. So. We are working on something. Um, I'm trying to find people who would want to get involved and coach a middle school program, whether that be for the middle school or a senior league program. Well, you talk about um, learning and being able to drive. A lot of your players on this team still, they don't drive themselves. So, um, being that they're so young, you must have a lot of um, hope and a lot of expectations for the not so distant future. Yes, I, I really believe next year and this year after. Um, you know, you talk to Tyler and Dakota Sizemore, those two kids are sophomores right now. By the time their senior year, by their senior year, they will have, they have high expectations that senior year, that, and even next year, going into next year. But these next two years for them are gonna be crucial because the majority of our players are sophomores and we're getting a couple of freshmen next year who are gonna be pretty athletic as well. Um, are you have some expectations going into this postseason now? I since do. you played so well in, in a majority of your games. Yeah, um, I do. I, the things we need to clean up, and you know, we always have one bad inning. If we're able to clean that up, we're going to be 
we're going to be set because uh, we played Greenbrier West the other night on their senior night. Um, going into the sixth inning, we were up six to three, and then we just had our one bad inning that sixth inning. Um, but if we can learn to just clean up those errors that we're making still that should have been cleaned up three, four years ago for them, that's going to help us out a lot. Okay, Coach, I appreciate it, and uh, thank you guys for coming out. Thanks, sir.